Welcome to Full Circle, and I'm Queen, your host. And my guest today is Mark Pettis. Pettis from I Am for Kids. And I want to welcome you. Thank you. And um, why don't you give us a little bit of insight about I Am for Kids? I, I would love to. Uh, I Am for Kids is a program that I created a couple of years ago, and uh, if I have to describe it in a sentence or two, I like to say that it's kind of like Tony Robbins meets Charlie Brown. And what I mean by that is, is it teaches second through fifth grade kids how to create their own empowering identity, their own empowering belief system. And it's I have a question for you. Why are adults always asking, what do you want to be when you grow up? It's because they're looking for ideas. They don't know what they want, so they're looking for answers anywhere they can find them. Let me ask you another question. How would you like to learn how you can be whatever you want starting right now? Fantastic. I'm Coach Mark, and I'm going to walk you through a really cool way to make that happen. Okay? Designed to fit on top of the curriculum that's taught in the second through fifth grade classrooms across the country. Oh, yeah. okay. And how did you get involved? Well, I've been a uh, motivational speaker. I was a corporate trainer for about 15 years, and I've been teaching a lot of this material to, to my kids and some of the kids that I coach in sports, etc., for a number of years. And Stop by. Let me introduce you, Daddy. First, this is Anika. She makes some of the most beautiful music that you've ever heard. And next is Inad. Inad is really into fashion and all that kind of stuff, as you can see. But this is Alex. Alex is the jock of the neighborhood. If there's a game going on, he's in it to win it. And this is Romina. Romina is a beautiful artist. She's always drawing and painting and sketching. And and where's Kenji? I thought I saw him come in with you guys. Ah, there he is. This is Kenji. He's a little shy around new people. Kenji's a second grader who, who loves to read, and he writes beautiful poetry and amazing stories. Say hi, everyone. Hi! Now, I'm about to take this class for this really cool program that I invented called I Am For Kids. You guys want to do it too? Yes! Excellent. Let me tell them what we're going to do next. Now guys, in a minute, your teacher is going to give you a piece of paper. And I want you to finish the simple statement that's written on the top. I am. Now that's the only directions that you're going to get right now. Either from me or from your teacher. But don't worry. There's no right or wrong answers. There are no good or bad answers. There's just answer it however you think you should. Now you guys do that in class. We'll do the same thing here. One night I just had that epiphany moment where I was lying in bed and it just came to me. I woke up, I went downstairs and got out a legal pad and about eight hours later I filled it up and I had the, what was the basis for what became I Am For Kids. Oh, so you kind of created Created it from scratch. <laughs> all for myself, all, all the characters, all with the you know, and everything. Oh really? Wow. See, I didn't know that. <laughs> a lot tougher than you thought. Most people, kids or grown-ups, never given any thought to that answer. They just kind of imitate what they see going on around them rather than deciding who they are or what they should do. So tell me. Tell me what you wrote down. So who wants to go first? I do, I do. Okay, Lanika, go right ahead. I wrote, I am Lanika. I am a good student and I love music. That's it. That's it, huh? Yeah, that's it. Okay, then. Who wants to go next? How about you, Alex? Okay. I'm a winner. I do not lose. Excellent. Anything else? Uh, no? Okay. Romina, you want to go next. Sure. I just wrote down, I am Romina. Great. Now, let me ask you. What does that mean? It means, I'm me? Or just who are you? Mm, I'm not really sure. Exactly. Now, don't worry. By the time we get done, you will. What's up, guys? You look puzzled. I didn't know what to write, so I didn't write anything. I was afraid to be wrong. Me too. No problem. That's a very common answer. A 
especially with grown-ups. Really? Yeah, really. Now what about you? Your teacher's going to pause the program again in a few minutes so you can go over your answers. Now remember, there are no right or wrong answers, good or bad answers, only honest answers. Come on back when you're done. Hey kids, good to see you again. That was kind of hard, wasn't it? Well guess what? You just finished the hardest part. Great job. It's only going to get easier and more fun from here. Now, we get to make it better. How do we do that? Well, I'll tell you. But let me ask you a question first. Do you have an imagination? Fantastic. Let me ask you another question. Is there any limit to anything that you can do or be in your imagination? Exactly. Let your imagination run wild and crazy. There's no limit to who you can be or what you can do. Think big. Think really big. All you have to do is decide it and put it down on paper. It's just that simple. So why just be good when you can be great? Or why be great if you can be the best ever? Think of all the people in your life that you admire or look up to. What makes them special? Pick the best things about them and decide to make them a part of you. What if there are a lot of people in your life that you want to be like? Yeah! That's a really good question. And I get that a lot. And unfortunately, there are a lot of people out there who don't have good role models. But I've got good news for you. Did you know that your brain can't tell the difference between something that's real and something it imagines? As long as you imagine it with strong feeling or emotion. Do you know what I mean? It means that if you think about something long enough and hard enough, you can teach your brain to believe whatever you want. And if your brain believes it, it will find a way to make it happen. Really? Yep. It, it's like when I taught you to see yourself scoring a touchdown or hitting a home run before you playing the game. In your imagination, it, it feels good, doesn't it? And then, when you're actually in that situation, you're not nervous because you've been there before. And what happened after you started to visualize yourself before a game? I started to do really well. I wasn't afraid of the bigger or faster players anymore. I knew how I'd react because I saw stuff ahead of time in my head. It's really cool, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what does that do for me? Well, it means you can do or be anything as long as you believe it and never give up. <laughs> you know, you're just so smooth with it and it just seemed like, oh, I'm a part of this, not I created this. Wow. Okay, so now um, tell our viewers uh, how kid they can actually go on the website and get a little more insight because do you actually do certain schools or how how does that work as far as the kids well, sure, the, the, being involved? The, 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 the program is actually designed to be taught in the school. So in other words, I don't, oh, I don't okay. go to a school myself and conduct the program. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't want the number of places I could get to in a day or the number of people that I could train to be the limiting factor of how many kids that we could reach with this material. It means you can do or be anything as long as you believe it and never give up. But let me ask you a few questions, okay? You love music, right? You want to be a musician when you grow up, right? So what kind of a musician do you want to be? A, a singer? A guitar player? Drummer? Composer? What? Do you want to be in a band or with other people, or do you want to perform solo? I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Well, you, you need to think about it. Because until you know what you want, your brain doesn't know where to go. It's like leaving for a vacation without knowing where you're going. How are you going to get there? If you already know where you're going, your brain will figure out the rest. You get it? Yeah, I got it. Cool. So, how can I use this now? The same thing applies to anything that you do. If you have a test coming up in school, when you're studying, see yourself acing that test. Feel confident because you know every answer. Visualize getting that test back from your teacher and having a big A circled on it. Do you all see how you can use this? And not, when you come up with an outfit, don't you see it in your mind first and then design it or buy it? How about you, Amina? When you're painting or sketching, don't you paint or draw what you see in your head or what you're feeling? All you need to do is let it flow. I'm going to show you how in a few minutes. What that means is that you can make up your own role models. 
ask yourself, who do you want to be? What would that person be like? How would he or she think? What would he or she do when put in a particular situation?